So there's many ways of tracking activity. Here's my personal preference. So we've just uh, had a call with, with Tina Louder. Uh, it was a good call. And so if we open up that, uh, that message, what we can do is track on the fact that we're good comments. Um, there's a rich subject line that tells us what we're up to. And so at this point, what we can do is to say all right, that we wanted to, uh, to send a follow-up email. And we could have written that out as a, as a to-do, but it's not a step if, if we're going to able to do the email immediately. Not a problem. So what I'm going to do is to hold down Alt, Touch, Tab. That brings me to this next screen, which is uh, my email message. Uh, so if I had, you know, if you click Send and you say, here it is, and then what you do is you forward that message. Uh, you select kind of anywhere in the message, and you hold down Control and touch A to select all, and you hold down Control and touch C to copy. Uh, then what you're able to do is to switch back uh, by holding Alt and touch Tab. So again, you switch back to your original message. You create a follow-up task, and what you then do is to drop into the comments area the buffer which was the email message. And if you actually drag down, you'll see these little dots that say that you, you can expand this. So if you need to, you can always open this up and see what the whole message is that you sent. And that you know, gives you a sense that, in fact, yep, there's a whole message there. And that's easy notes. Um, so what I'm going to do, because I've just sent this message, I can mark it completed. I can add to the subject line, and in this case, uh, let's put a, a note in there that says that I uh, need a follow-up, send a follow-up. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use today's date. Uh, everything else is consistent. So at this point, what I'm going to do is to click Save and New. So this is my open task. And what I'm going to do is to go ahead and paste in the email message. I'm going to call this in progress. Uh, I'm going to inherit all the information that I needed to. I'm going to set it to due date. Let's say I'm going to look for a response by Wednesday of next week. And then I'm going to just throw in here uh, an easy one, which is response to and this message. I'm going to save it. This returns me to the, the task object specifically for the, uh, the original tracking message, which was the good call. And what, what I want to do is to look out at the, uh, this is the opportunity, just to give you a sense of how that shows. And with, with this, uh, and every layout is going to be a bit different, but with this layout, what I'm able to see is what's happening with this opportunity. And specifically, I can see that there is a next step, which is did uh, you know, did I get a response from Tina uh, to this message? Floating over, it gives me the entire background message. And then I can also show, uh, for all of these, I can see kind of what's happened. Uh, and I'm able to understand, you know, by, by looking at this line, kind of what my activities are and what's happening. Now, if I also go out to my home page, what I can see is that I also have a task out here uh, for the 14th. And it specifically is asking, <laughs> it's asking me to, uh, you know, have, have I gotten a response from, from Tina uh, on, on this uh, email? So that's first step. Uh, let me show you then how we actually do a, a follow-up message. And I think that's equally important.